when I look online and I look at my friends and their friends, most are pretty much in agreement on everything. I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. I coach people and organizations to be more effective. And when I look at that behavior, it leaves me wondering. And part of the, the stimulation or the stimulus for the, this particular video comes from a podcast I was listening to with Reed Hoffman, where he was interviewing someone and the conversation was about diversity. And he used a phrase that I thought was wonderful, the beige haze of conformity. Now, clearly he was speaking about gender conformity and could have just as well have applied to race, religion, and any number of other variables. But when you think about your life and the people that you associate with, not just personally, but professionally, it's very damaging to have groupthink, to have this beige haze, to use Reed's term, that keeps you from hearing other things, other opinions, other ideas. Why? I'll just tell you a story in case you're not aware of it, but there was once a, a U.S. president named Lyndon Johnson, and he surrounded himself with people who generally agreed with him. I don't want to call them sycophants because they really weren't, but they held the same opinion as him. There was no difference in the thinking. And thus, when one said something, there were generally head nods and the president wound up agreeing. And the impact of this was the Vietnam War and how these individuals around the president basically told him what uh, they believed he wanted to hear, I'll be kind, needed to hear, but there was no disagreement. The result wound up being many years of war and eventually the loss of the presidency. Folks, your circumstances may be less dramatic, but look around your office. Does everyone look alike? That's just not simply race, but gender, sexual orientation, whole host of other variables. and. Does the thinking that everyone's communicating generally the same? Another podcast I listened to was uh, a Google podcast um, with Kelsey Grammer, and he was talking about his current show, but everyone delighted in bringing up the fact that he produced a show called Girlfriends. And Girlfriends had a half black writing room, half white writing room, and the same wound up being true of the gender of the individuals there. He wanted to ensure that there was different viewpoints and different ideas contributing to the show. You don't know what you don't know, and you have blind spots that unless you bring in different ideas, you're gonna miss. Start looking differently, start thinking differently in your hiring and encouraging people to speak up in order to ensure that you're getting different thoughts. Hope you found this helpful. I'm Jeff Altman. If you're interested in my coaching, you reach out to me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Once we're connected, message me that you're interested in coaching. We'll set up a time for a free discovery call. Have a great day and take care.